Run request to import blanket purchase agreements into purchasing and check for newly generated blanket purchase agreement. So for this, we have got to go back to Oracle Fusion Cloud. So basically, this step comes after we have generated an agreement at the fulfillment lines from the contract workbench and as a result enterprise contract has dumped the details of data into purchasing interface tables and this request will import data of the agreement from purchasing interface tables into oracle purchasing cloud and will then create a blanket purchase agreement automatically let's go and see how it works i'm going to go back to oracle fusion cloud so basically we are on the latest uh, oracle cloud application which is at the moment 21b release and uh, a quick recap as to we have created the contract header lines and uh, from the lines uh, we have generated the fulfillment lines and at the fulfillment lines then i ended up in creating the agreement which is as you see the status is agreement creation under progress but the agreement itself is not shown so i'm going to go and switch the responsibility and i'm going to navigate to purchasing so go to procurement and pro purchase requisition so here we don't have the responsibility so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to simply log off from this user like this and then I'm going to log in as a procurement user as Kelvin Roth give the password like this okay and then I'm gonna go to procurement dashboard and from here I'm going to go into purchase agreements so this is the purchase agreement dashboard and within that I'm going to go to the taskbar and simply go down and look at this request import blanket agreements did you see that so I'm going to click on this hyperlink Now I'm going to hit the submit new process button at the top and here I'm going to provide more details. So default buyer is Kelvin Chavan and any other details you, you wish to provide and then you can simply hit the submit button. So I'm going to leave it as it is. You can give an import source if you feel like but it doesn't have a list of values. So I'm going to leave it as it is and hit the submit button and then see what happens. So process 3057628 was submitted. Hit the OK button and then I'm going to hit the refresh button. Hopefully I will be able to see it. You see presently it is running. So we'll just wait for a while for this process to complete. Okay, so this is now completed. I'm going to click on this one and then I'm going to look at the output like this and you see now this blanket purchase agreement was successfully imported 52273 so click copy and then I'm going to hit the done button and come out of this and then I'm going to go here to the task menu and then I will go into manage agreements and then look for this uh, blanket purchase agreement so I'm going to give the agreement number directly and buyer is uh, Kelvin Chavan hit the search button hopefully you should have this agreement you see that's the agreement created for supplier Dell Inc for an agreement amount of $300,000 which is what we have given in the enterprise procurement contract the present status is open and the validity is from today to one year ending at uh, 20th of May 2022 alright so you see more details of that agreement by clicking on this hyperlink for agreement number 
you see more details about that is clearly shown over here so including the terms the payment terms are immediate shipping method fedex freight terms via base freight and freight on board is origin if you come down you will see the line information so we have generated this agreement for this item cm215 43 which is uh, for 1.2 terabytes of hard disk drive and uh, the price is $150 agreed price and the status is open you can see for the details here if you like any price breaks but we haven't defined all these things so don't worry about this at the moment but you can always define it if you feel like you can edit them uh, this particular line and resubmit this uh, agreement for approval but anyway, I'm going to ignore all this at the moment. And this is how you generate an agreement for a enterprise procurement contract. So I'm going to go back and uh, look at the enterprise procurement contract to see whether the agreement is referring there or not. Okay. So I'm going to go here and look at the number let's say 22052021 underscore 1 so that's the contract we have been working on So it's fetching the details from the back end. As you could see, the status of the contract is active. Now, if you go to fulfillment, let's see what has happened in terms of the fulfillment line status. So still the agreement creation is in progress. So we have got to run another request to tie back the data from purchasing to Oracle Fusion Enterprise Procurement Contracts. and that process is something i'm going to show you in my next lesson mm -hmm.